Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to structure your first Terraform project. So if you're someone who's new to Terraform, who's just getting started with Terraform and you don't know how do you structure your code and how do you structure a model and stuff like that. And basically you have multiple environments. So how do you go about uh, setting up your Terraform code, right? So the first thing you need to ensure is that you have Terraform installed and that is a simple check using Terraform version that will give you the Terraform version you have and it also means that you have Terraform installed. All right, so now coming to the usage. So if you are someone who's just playing around with Terraform, like who just wants to check if a particular piece of infrastructure he wants to build is working or not, you can have a very simple directory structure. Uh, what I can do is I can make a, make a DIR called Terraform, I can test, sudo into it, and then you can do main file, main.tf. So tf is the suffix used for Terraform. So main.tf, you can have a providers.tf, which will all contain all your providers information. You can have variables.tf. And you can optionally also have output.tf, right? So this should be your go-to way if you're just testing out things. In fact, even if you don't want to create all these files, variables, providers, output, you can put everything in the main file and you can run Terraform plan and Terraform apply and it will work, right? But if you are doing this for say, uh, or your organization, maybe you're doing it for your company, right? And your company must be having multiple environments, staging, production, development, and every environment would be different from one another, right? So how do you go about doing that? So I'll come out of Terraform directory and I'll make another directory called Terraform, uh, let's call it org. Right, let's cd into it. Terraform org. And so now, the first thing what you need to have is a basic entry point for your Terraform code. So for that, we will have uh, a main.tf file. And also, not and, uh, we'll have variables.tf right so this will actually serve as an entry point for your terraform uh, run but now coming so we'll have a directory called come on modules and Inside module, we'll just cd into modules. And inside modules, we'll have directories for different modules. Say, suppose uh, we have a directory for our compute module, right? We can have a directory for our networking module. We'll just call it network. And we can have a directory for say a containerized workload, right? So container. All right. So now, if we just go into say, for example, compute. Now this compute will have its own main TF file, right? will also have its providers tf file and this will also have its variables right so this is how basically your module definition will work so you will define your compute module inside this and then you will probably use it in whatever environment you want to use right so let's get out of it let's get out of modules directory and let's do tree command so this is how it is looking right now so we have modules we have compute and inside compute we have 
compute specific Terraform uh, templates. Now we'll have different environments, right? So we can make DIR ENVs and we'll CD into ENVs and then we'll have different environments say like dev staging rot right so these are the three mostly i've seen in the company three environments dev staging prod staging in some companies it is called test and performance other i mean different names they call it but it's like the testing environment all right so let's go into PRD. So now PRD environment will have its own main TF file, right? Variables to TF file. It will also have its providers if you want. This is probably optional. If you don't want, you can use the modules provider, right? And it will have a TF wars file so we'll call it prd.tfwars right now if we get out of prd and get out of environment and do a tree so this is how your uh, directory structure is looking now so you have main entry points as main.tf variable.tf probably you'll never use these but then you have your environment specific uh, files for each environment so this will be like for each environment and similarly you have your modules so you will basically reference one of these modules in your main tf file in your uh, specific environment and you have a tf wars file so basically you will be overriding uh, different set of values say for example so let's take compute as an example so say compute module is used for creating ec2 instances but in dev you want to run an instance of type say ec2 uh, t2 micro and in prod probably you want to run a bigger instance a larger instance like an r3 type of instance right so you override these values using the tf wars file so in the tf wars you will provide a different value for a variable Similarly, that will that is going to override based on the environment, right? So this is how the directory structure looks when you are def designing for scale, right? Designing for uh, an organization. It's not like your personal project. You are basically building this for an organization. And then you will probably be designing CICD pipelines around it, some form of automation that is going to run, that is going to look into, and this would probably, the same structure would go inside your GitHub, your source code management tool, right? Whatever you are using, it could be GitHub, it could be GitLab, Bitbucket, whatever. And it will follow the same directory structure. And then probably you will have some automations written around it, basically, if you want to do GitOps or anything of that sort. All right, so this is what I wanted to cover for this video. Uh, in the later videos, we'll go into a lot more details of what providers are, right? Uh, how do you define variables and how do you basically write modules and use them in say one of these environments and then probably how do you overwrite these uh, TFRs, uh, basically variables, right? For different environment. So we'll be covering that. Uh, but for this video, I think this is it. Thank you for watching.